welcome back to another video. So, I've just done elemental crops, now let's do magic spells. These are two, like, you know, both are like magic, but you know, we've got basically magical crops, but they're elemental ones, not magical. And uh, magic spells. So, let's have a look. That one. Home of Magic. Okay. The Home of Magic has all the magical knowledge you will need. Learn about magic spells, new magic items, and adjust your settings over here. How it works. To start with magic spells, you need to uh, find that a uh, man o might hostile mobs, white skeletons, or zombies have a small chance to drop one. In fact, uh, areas uh, keep uh, an, uh, in the forest areas, keep an eye out for magical wisps who are guaranteed to drop at least one mammo knife. Mammo right. Once you collect your first man mano right. The, uh, crist uh, the crafting recipes will unlock in the recipe of uh, any crafting In-depth description for every spell item uh, can be found in the spells and items section of the magic book. So, I'ma go get one of them. So, um, they're not too difficult to get. You usually get like a couple just from like mobs. I've got a skelly spawn on there, the zombie spawn is not in there. Like I said, uh, in the last video, blah, 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 I had to start a new, kill another copy world, copy of the world. Uh, this is the second uh, copy, uh, yeah. We're just gonna, I'm just gonna flip this lever, flip this lever, and I'm gonna hold my loot and sword. All the stuff is down in the garden. I'm not making sure about the. Oh! This is the one that I have to do with. There we go. Oh, it lights on my top. Just standing here and waiting for it. Dead forest. I believe there's forests around this on the other side of the mountain. We can go see. Uh, we should probably. I should probably. Uh, Flip it time. Yep. 
I don't know how I didn't take damage there, I guess levitation effect, like, took effect, like, for a moment before I, uh, hit the floor. So it said there could be wisps around here, that, that I guarantee that could drop. Let's see how long it takes for to find one of them. I'm pretty sure they're there, because I've only seen a few of them. Uh, just like when, when my nephew went himself. I've not really touched this. I, I, I tend to not really touch these uh, mods if at all possible before I review them. Like the only ones I've really touched before doing videos is the mutants one because of mutants. One, two, 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 well, there was two mutants at least. One of them got me in a death loop. The other one wasn't. Um, And I think it was the uh, Technica, but I didn't really touch that much. I literally just crafted a few things. I think it was the smelter, and the lava pump, and the solar panel, and some cables and stuff. So, yeah. Not really touched this much. I just found a couple of whisper spawns randomly. Yeah, not. This definitely is a forest. I'm not seeing any. Uh, yeah. So I won't really uh, bet on getting some wisps. Super common. It's pretty much just guaranteed here. Uh, Proves what I thought. They are quite rare when you're not going to see them often, unless you get lucky. So, what I'm going to do instead is going to summon. Actually, I can just summon a wisp. Here's a wisp. Blurry. Maybe you kill it. You get the man mano mano Now it's not too uncommon to get them from zombies even and skeletons and stuff, you know, just turn them off some mobs even without looting. Because I've gathered a few without looting, so yeah. Not too difficult. Uh, it would probably just be boring just watching me kill zombie after zombie after zombie after zombie. After zombie. Ah. Now that we've got that, move on to the next one. Do spells first. There's a fair few of them. There's Ender Blight. Mana cost 15, cooldown 6 seconds, damage 3. Effect radius 5 blocks. Effect to duration 10 seconds. Conjure a large patch of radiant ender light on the ground that damages mobs within with every second. So I need to. Uh, uh, and. Uh, here we go. I need two end rods and an eye of ender. My end stuff is over here. Two end rods. Drops over here. Well, I'll see First, and one of the ender. I think if I go through. Wait, powder. Wait, did I do anyway? And here we go. End double eight. Well, that's actually pretty cool. It's one of the more late game things because you don't need chorus fruit to get. Uh, well, actually, um, 
Surprisingly enough, this actually has some uh, some like synergy with the props, uh, the elemental props, because the ender ones can be used with a torch and you can get end rods and you can uh, get end, end seeds from just like killing endermen in the overworld or whatever so yeah a bit of uh, synergy there that they probably did the mana 100 out of 100 so I assume the mana is going to go down and gradually so let's, let's just summon some on a spin a spider. Oh okay, yeah, see that? There's a stone. Yeah, that's pretty decent. Oh, this game I'm out for a while. Uh, let's get. Let's. Uh, let me set time tonight. Set mid midnight. He says it goes fast. It's a little bit, well, it's not too bad because um, it is. Um, yeah. If it wasn't for the cooldown, like, hey, even with the cooldown, yeah, it's decent. But it, what I would change about it is I would have it hit through armor because with it, with armor. Protecting against it. Not as uh oh, what I'm gonna do what? next spell. And that spell is Fireball! For fireball! Mana cost ten, cooldown. 0.75 seconds, damage 8, effect radius 3 blocks. Oh, oh, yeah, oh yeah, and that, the other one also has like a larger radius. So. Shoot a flaming projectile that ignites and damages the first target to hit. Also deals damage to additional mobs in a small area around the room. Let's craft up a fireball. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Winter Steel 2 Blaze was easy peasy. Let me open you. Let me, there we go. Two Blaze Wards. Uh, Flint and Steel. Flint. We got. And there we go. Fire. Oh, that this is cool. You get a staff. But I, what, what I really like so far is just like the models they have. They these models are cool. Are you right? Oh. Okay. This is cool. 
little bit annoying that he does like nail fires. Right, let's uh, summon in a zombie. Hi there. Yeah, this is pretty good. I'm not being set up. Oh, wait, yeah, my armor. <laughs> uh, that's silly me. Oops, I had to set the armor on from crops. Again, magical crops. Go check that out. Cool mod. Yeah, that's. Uh, <laughs> Oh. One more in here. Let's get them all gathered up. I want that rotten flesh. Later. Oh. The my armor is teleporting them away. Which Right click. Oh. Yeah. Again, armor does protect against it, but that's fair because it's fairly cheap with just only being two blades rods and a flint and steel, which yeah, not, not really expensive. Right? Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'll probably use it in the uh, end. Gravity Vortex. Mana cost 30. Cooldown 5 seconds. 2 damage. Cast range 48 blocks. Effect radius 3 blocks. Pull in radius 14 blocks. Effect duration 8 seconds. Create a vortex that sucks in nearby mobs, creatures, uh, and traps them in the center of uh, the effect and take its damage. Okay. Pull in the vortex. Gravity Vortex. Wow. Oh, this is a. I think you need an Echo Shard and two Prismarine Shards. Now, I believe I. Yes, I do have Echo Shards. I don't have any Prismarine Shards. So I just have to give that to keep. Uh, two. Give myself some floor next. I don't have to use it. Uh, what should I call it? Vortex! Oh, this is a cool. This is a cool stuff. I do, again, I, do, I am really liking these. Oh, the baby zombies are too fast for it! But it's not doing a lot of damage, like one zombie. With two of these, I got one dead zombie. It'll be too Too fast. There we go, this guy. I might be thinking that they're not dying yet uh, because of the plague, you know. 
might be really like, annoying if you're trying to like get rid of get rid of drops like gold ingots or zombie piglins or iron ingots, carrots, potatoes, zombies. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's Fireball's still in there. Ice Blast. Mana cost 10. Cooldown half a second. Damage 6. Effect radius 8. Blast mobs in a cone in front of you with a a wave of ice. Yeah, I forgot what I was going to do. I could probably just put ice in here. Ice. Hello, Lily. I need my arm back, my bro. <laughs> need a snowball and two pack ties. Let's do Mountain, so let's go get that snow. Got snow. Yeah, I suppose I didn't have any snow because. I'm surrounded by this stuff. I probably turn it all into blocks. Hey, let's test out this stuff. I got a little ice one. Sound effects, the sound effects are good. Oh, it's nice when they add the new sound effects. On to the next spell. We've got Illuminate. Mana cost 10, cooldown 3 seconds, so cast range 48 blocks. Conjures a glimmering, uh, glimmering light source that, at uh, the uh, target location within range that will linger for a limited amount of time. Ah. I was kind of getting excited. Uh, oh, sorry. Excuse me. Two gold ingots on the torch. Easy peasy. Valuable to Two gold. Uh, 
can. That's an illuminate spell. I'm gonna have to go somewhere dark to get help. And I've also got my armor set that gives me night vision. Hold on. I'm gonna take my helmet off. Get rid of the effects. So darkness. Um. Oh, you! Ah! Hold on. It's only temporary. Now, what I prefer if it was like a little small ball that glowed, like, uh, like a bit like the wisp. That's how it in that looked a bit like the wisp. So it is. And, but it was permanent. That would make this far more useful. But I can't really think of like when you want a temporary light source. That they can just, you know, just, you know. For the most part, you're gonna want permanent life. Like, I guess if you're like in a cave and you're digging uh, around and you run out of torch, you run out of torches, you use it. Torches for a bit, for a bit like temporary life, or eh, kind of bad. Yeah, I would not recommend crafting that at all. Even though it is quite cheap, relatively speaking, it's not really useful. Like, it doesn't matter how cheap something is, if it's not really that useful, then why would you craft it in the first place? Next spell. So this one's more useful. Levitation! Mana cost, 4 per second, cooldown, 1 second. Channeling, this spell will be casted repeatedly when holding it interact, as long as the caster has sufficient mana. Before it goes on cooldown, gain the ability to fly for a limited amount of time. Levitate. I'm probably going to have to take my hand off this. I get better than you set feathers. Uh, there we go, another take. Feather, a book, and a gold ingot. Uh, but I have tons of And a. And that's a levitate spell. Could do without the red background. When it's got the red background, it looks like you can't craft it. No, I'm just gonna take my armor off so I don't have slow fall. There we go. Wait for slow fall into wear off. Yep, just gone. And, oh yeah, I need to be. Kind of cool. And definitely useful. You do take fall damage though. Yeah, can I can definitely see this being useful. And it's fairly cheap, only costing one gold, a feather and a book, which is basically just like sugar cane, uh, a dead chicken, sugar cane, and a, a dead cat basically. But I've got these slow fall boots from the uh, elemental crops. 
again, the mod uh, did that yesterday. Go, it's on my channel. Yeah, let's see uh, how, how how OP this is. So I go off with this. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. Wow, you can get quite a distance out of this. Like, seriously. Like, I'm almost at the top of these mountains, though, I think. It's hard to tell. Like, that, the peak of that one's in, like, the clouds, and the clouds aren't that far above. Yeah, and we're about to run out of Here we go. There we go. Ran out. And now we're just slow falling down. Like, I, I crossed like the entirety of my base from there. Like, seriously. That is pretty, that is pretty cool. I'll, gi I'll give them that. that. That is a cool one. The, and you do get a good bit of air time out of it. I'm up. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, yeah, th this is cool. I, I like this one. Like, it, it has a use case. It is a bit more niche, but it does have use case. Use cases. Yeah. yeah, and it's cheap enough to like really want crafting because it's, yeah. Alright, let's go to the next one. And the next one is Lightning Strike. Right there. Freaking, I'll look into that for later. Two lightning rods and a gold ingot. Easy peasy. Gold ingots in here. This is, this will be pretty crafted like some. Yeah, uh, it's a new survival world because the uh, lightning one is uh, pretty easy to get because it's just copper. Ah, oh, there's copper. I need six copper. Cuts. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> lightning! Oh! To be midnight again, so I can kill zombies. Zombies <laughs> get smoted. <laughs> oh. Okay. This is more difficult to aim. Zombies or now does it, hold on. Villager. Oh, no, get back. Nope, it doesn't have the same That is a shame. That would have been a, like being able to like turn creepers into charge creepers and villagers into witches and so on and so forth. With this would have made it so much better, but it is still cool. Oh. Let me just kill this guy. Oh, my iron farm's working again. I just hit an iron golem die. But why? I don't know. I don't want to think about that right now. I've got mods to it to do. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. But um, not really. Yeah, what's worth? Uh, not the easiest to aim, but pretty cool, yeah. And uh, you can get it quite early. Though. Yeah, not bad. Definitely uh, worth looking into. Next on the list of spells is Mind Burst. I don't. I've not. Sorry, I've not looked at the. Uh, like I sorry, I forgot to look at lightning straight here. Mana cost fifteen. Cooldown one second. Damage ten. Oh yeah, ten damage. Yeah, definitely worth it. 
Cast range 48 blocks. Effect radius 3 blocks. Fall down lightning at the target location. With ranger to damage mobs. With its area of effect, this spell, all, spell also charges. Oh wait, it does charge creepers. Let, let me see if I can get a creeper to not blow up on me. It doesn't turn villagers into witches, which is annoying. Yeah. Come on. Reaper. Not camel. Not cat. Not cave spider. Not chest boat. Not. Wee. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, it charges. And now he's dead. Okay, so this is an easy way to. Way to get charged creepers at least. But like I said, we're, we're still being cool to have it. Maybe in a future update if they do update this. But who knows? This the spells. Too far, we were doing mind burst. Mana cost 40 per charge. Cooldown 1 second. Cost cast range 48 blocks. Charging. This spell can accumulate charges to increase its power to charge up, hold it, interact, then release the cast spell. Players out in an area of blocks at the target's location within range to allow a quick mining does not damage creatures. Also, this is a mining spell. Cool. Let's do. Mine burst. Two iron pickaxes and a TNT. Oh, and I'm down to my last. So it was two iron pickaxes. So iron. And a TNT block was it? No, I think it was. Let me go get four sand and five. Five. I gave it a sand chest over here, didn't I? Four sand. I've done power. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. TNT. Oh, wait, yeah, I forgot to craft the iron pickup. see what this can do down at Deep Slate. Why they can hold shift. Um, let's just... Oh! Okay. Three. Oh, that's cool. Let's try on one charge. Only a little two by two area. Yeah, but this is this would be cool for like clearing out a large area. So this is I wouldn't really use this for mining. For mining, I'd probably use uh, the multiple pickaxe for like for, for like clearing out a large area, like mega. This is yeah. Faster. I don't have enough mana. 
Hang up. Yeah, pretty cool. But we're not really, in my opinion, when it's really use it for mining, we use it for terraforming. You might even it's in a fill your inventory up right And it's a bit hard to aim it properly, so you're going to make fear of it. And so, yeah. Uh, actually, I'm just going to... Blocks aren't too difficult yet. Like I said, four sand pipe, one powder. Not that difficult. So, I'm going to need to get myself some more of that magnet though. So, give that to me. Man oh my. Continue on then, shall we? Spells! Holy moly. Ooh, this sounds cool. Mana cost 25, cooldown 2 seconds, effect radius 2 blocks, effect duration 20 seconds. Temporarily transform a hostile mob into a cute and high critter. Does not work on enemies with very high max health like bosses. Okay, so polymorph. Cheap, two gold and an amethyst. Two gold. Where what do I have any amethyst? I don't think I do. Temporary. Okay. 
Polymorph. Now we're doing push. And it costs 10. Cooldown 2 seconds. Damage 0. Effect radius 6. Blocks both. Really pushes blocks away from you. I think this one's pretty crafty. Okay, just two sticks of emerald. And emeralds are a little bit expensive, but they but if you've got some like I would have played it two sticks and a feather. Feathers are like uh, associated with like wind and stuff. <laughs> Let's push it. Whee! Fury! Can you rename stuff? I would rename it. I'm gonna try renaming this to safe space. Down five seconds, effect rate is four blocks. Comment is a magical circle on the ground after three seconds. Players and mobs within the circle will be teleported to your spawn point. For this spell to make, you need to have previously set your spawn point at a bed. This sounds cool. Bad book. Not too bad. It makes sense. And the pearl. Oh, this it showed a purple bed. Was it have to be purple? Let's try with a different I should try the bed. Because if it is a purple bed, that makes it a bit more tricky. You'd have to get purple diamond. Too bad, I think it's just red and blue. Off the top of my head. Uh, let's see if this works. Nope. You do need a purple bed. Okay.
So is and we get return. So quick test. Does this uh, let's test it out on the wall. Oh yeah, it works on the walls. <laughs> I know I fused it to one B. Oh, <laughs> oh that's nice. Yeah, that is that is um weird. Does it work on hostile walls? Oh, the arm is going to make this difficult. Ammo off. Uh, and yeah, it works on hostiles. You have to be a bit careful with this, which is kind of balancing because it's not super expensive. Uh, and it's, it is pretty useful, like if you're just like far, far, far away from your home. Pop this down, wait for a few seconds, and get out of the back. Also, this would be great because um, that if you've got like if there's like a mob like hundreds of blocks away that you want to get to the base, then. You don't need to uh, walk an entire distance, you just pop one of these down, they'll get another with you. Yeah, this is actually pretty good. My only big complaint would be um probably probably also telephone kind of players, I don't know about that. But um the only real complaint is that is a bit uh a little bit long. I would very much like it to be On to the next one. Elves. Summon minion. Oh, this one looks cool. Mana cost 40. Cooldown 10 seconds. Effects duration 30 seconds. Summon an allied creature that helps you in combat. Uh, oh, I think that was just minion. Man. There we go. Huh. This seems it is not too bad, but it's a bit random. Navarak, Obsidian, and Endstone. We've got Obsidian in here. Oh no, that's Black Wall. What's Black Wall doing in here? Uh, Obsidian, Navarak, and what was it? Endstone. Not too expensive. For all these blocks you can get fairly easily once you get to the end. Let's get on top, summon the minion, and fight some zombies. They're cool. That's cool. Okay, come here. Yeah. Got some zombies for you to fight. Not very smart. Oh, there's a guy in hell. Hell and cool down. There we go. What? Didn't summon one. What? Oh, this one's this one's kind of disappointing. Even though know, you have to be at the go to the end to craft this, it's not really that strong. It's kind of dumb. I'm 
that in mid tier, a bit disappointing, but kind of cool. Just has a few problems that stop it from being great. I don't need more zombies. On to the next spell. Time warp. Let's do the time warp again. Mana cost eight per second. I, yeah, I'm thinking this is going to be like uh, up in the Cool down one second, this spell will cast repeatedly when holding it uh, as long as it cast it. Well, there we go again. Cool down. Rapidly speed up time of day, turning uh, day into night and day. Oh! It turns day into night and night into day, which can be kind of. Cool. I, th I think this one's going to be a bit more niche. Um. Here we go. A bit more niche, but I think it's going to have its use as long as it's not too expensive. Yeah, two ender pills on a clock, not too bad. That's two ender pills, four gold. Nighttime. Yeah, pretty cool. Like I said, probably mostly useful if you're like out of the ring and you're away from your bed. I'm gonna put that in medium, not too expensive, but also not too useful. Well, a wind. Mana cost 20, cooldown 8 seconds, damage 2, cast range 48 blocks, effect radius 54. Not 54, I was... Damn it, that's dyslexia. Effect radius 5 blocks. Effect duration 16 seconds. Summon a whirlwind of amazing speed that seeks out hostiles and hits them into... The, hills them into the air. Only works against grounded, ground-based targets. Feather and two lapis. Man, well, as many uh, crafting recipes with feathers in as you want, because I have way too many of them. And lapis. I have way too much lapis. Well, wind. Oh, help if I didn't fall out of the Time, so let's get a few. Let's run over here and get a few zombies in. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So they just get flung up into the air. And it does do damage to them, uh, other than fall damage. Which, uh, fun fact, in real life, uh, the main damage I use, the, the most deadly thing about tornadoes is all the things inside and not the... Oh, 
Oh, it does target. Decent damage, and not, and again, not really. Exp yeah, that is pretty good. I'm putting that. I don't have any more room. Well, I can just move again. Chest. Yeah, I'm gonna put that up there with the best spells. It it deserves it because that. Considering how much it costs, it is really good. And last but not least, Wither Skull. Mana cost 40 per shot. Cooldown four seconds. Damage 12. Effect rate is 2.5 blocks. Charging. This spell can accumulate charge to increase its power to charge up whole the interactive enemies. Well, shoot up to five wither skulls from the uh, never that seek out nearby uh, mobs and explode. Sounds pretty cool. So it was wither skulls. Yeah, wither skulls. Withery, withery, wither skulls, skulls. Mm -hmm. oh this is probably going to be the most expensive though. Never star and two bones. I have the bones, but not the never stars. Here, so I them in. Right, this is the most. Oh, it looks really cool though. It is the most expensive as well. So this better be good, otherwise. Um, let's go over here. Right, let's test it out on these. Okay, kills the sheep in one shot. A horde of zombies, I'm behaving. <laughs> He's struggling to get the babies. The baby's too fast. Yeah, this mob does not handle baby zombies uh, really well. Oh, this is a real letdown, to be honest. Between the, like, the charge of time and... yeah. This one, yeah, this one is really disappointing. One hit. Two hits. With this cooldown. Yeah. I mean, I guess it is a somewhat decent range weapon, but... You know, bows can one shot. Zombie. Ah, th this is disappointing. I would, I cannot recommend crafting this one unless you've like killed a million withers and, uh, and just craft it as like a flip. It is just not worth it. And it gets distracted by zombies. I to fix this, up the damage so it can at least one shot any unarmored uh, zombie. Uh, second thing to fix, reduce the cooldown massively. Uh, third thing I'd fix, I'd fix is not have it to target passive mobs. Uh, that's just gonna get. Oh, 
No. Have it to target passive mobs, but prioritize hostile mobs. So if you're being attacked by a zombie, and there's like a chicken in the area, and it goes off to attack the chicken instead of the zombie, that's going to get annoying. Or one of your wolf buddies. So yeah, I, I cannot recommend this. Unfortunately, I'm putting it down here with an Illuminate. Where it's not, where it, it's too expensive and it, uh, for what it does, and what it does isn't very good. But now we're done with the, with spells, we've got two more to go. I think this, yeah, that's the, so yeah, just two more, just got uh, items and, oh wait, no, this is second. Uh, select the text formatting uh, for your mana and spell display. Select notification option for when spell fails to pass. Text and sound, sound. I mean, yeah, I, I would set that to just sound, because you don't need the text. Really. Um, yeah, let's go to list of items. We've got magic and fire. Confuse ordinary uh, cloth with that. Uh, Man, mana mode Yeah, to the crafting table yields an armor suit for spell casting like no other. Magic armor is surprisingly durable, can be enchanted to high levels, and provides these extra bonuses. Magic hat gives you plus one mana regen. Magic robe gives you plus ten max mana. Magic leggings give you plus ten max mana, and magic boots give you plus five max mana. Magic armor can be uh, repaired at uh, an anvil using wool or mana mode. So, I'm gonna go get some purple. Let's go cra and let's craft this. Let's grab wool. Magic leggings, magic boots. Oh, magic, uh, there should be a hat and chest plate. Hmm. Why, do they, why do they not show up when I type in magic? Uh, okay. Oh yes, hat. What do I need for the hat? Gold and gold for the chest plate. Okay, I need two gold. Hat. Chest plate. Oh, this does look pretty cool, though. You're a wizard cell. Uh, yeah, let's get let's uh, let's try out some of my favorite spells. So uh, let's do let's try the fly one. Let's see how far I can levitate. So you now with a full set, you have 125 years of power. If we, if we can make it to the top of the mountain, I don't think so. Only with bonus mana, only 25 down. It, you are sacrificing uh, four armor bars. Diamond Age. If you're doing a like full mage thing, that would be cool. But, uh, if I don't think you'd be crossing this for regular. Oh, wait. Yeah, we're, 
we're definitely gonna get over this mountain. I see no god up here except me. Oh yeah. Look how high we're going. If I'm down there all the way up to here. Now you can see the like the Y in like top left corner at 250. 250 is right. I am almost certainly gonna die for it. Two seventy nine, two eighty, two eighty three, two eighty four, two eighty six, two eighty seven, two eighty eight, two ninety three, one hundred, two seventy seven, ninety eight, three hundred. Oh, and we ran out of mana. So we got over three hundred blocks. Oops. Oh, I almost saved myself there. It started levitating. So we went to above 300 from a starting point of Y96. So we went up like 200 blocks. At least. So. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty high up. Um. Let's try some other spells. Let's try uh, Fireball. Combat mage kind of thing. This is definitely one of the best ones. Regen! Yeah, pretty good. Regen in about three every second. Uh, yeah, this is a pretty cool add on, and. I don't have enough mana. Yeah, it's a pretty cool add-on with some with a couple of bad spells. Like, it, like I said earlier, the only, really the only bad spells is illuminate and uh, river river skulls, so which don't there's not really a use case for them. And but well, there is a use case for the river skulls, but they're just not. Look, there's just bare spells. And I can kill zombies, all zombies with this faster. Than that, so yeah. More than that, all the other spells are cool and unique, and uh, yeah, I would very much recommend downloading this and having some fun with it. Um. Uh, so yeah, hope you guys all did enjoy this video. Oh uh, well, wait, there's uh, there was that cookie thing, wasn't there? There is. My inventory is a mess. Items. Yeah, those magic potions. Mana cookies are crafted by infusing ordinary cookies with that mana mare on a crafting table. This process not only makes them more tasty, but also makes them restore 25 mana. Drinking a mana potion restores a whopping 75 mana instantly. To make just a make one just melt down the mana mare into a water bottle at a brewing stand. Mine the potion that vastly boosts your ability to generate mana for 60 seconds. So like a mana potion is like instant health or is just like instant mana potion. And my potion is like mana regen boost. I have a uh, thing there. I can just Dump these spells in here really quick. Okay. 
Keeper. Fireball. I think the lightning one's probably my favourite. Anyway, uh, so we've got that. We want some glass. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'll make some random cookies as well because I can. I have. Oh wait, there's cookies. cookies in a chest. Actually, random animals can get some from a villager. Uh, you can uh -huh. don't you? Yes, you do! Thank you! Therefore, basic mana potion is the. Uh, really awesome. Did I put Um uh, we've got in there. Craft up some more cookies. Got cookies around them. Oh, and they only stack up to sixteen. That's great. Yeah, I don't think these generate food at all. E F F E G F P. Hunger two five five five. Why am I not getting hungry? I did two f oh, for five minutes. Yeah, it's two five five. I should. Oh, I bet it's like one of those things where it's like. Oh, you do it too high and it breaks it. Yeah, we've got mana potions. Oh yeah, mind potion. And that's how you craft a mind potion. I think it would probably be better to stick with the mana. But actually, if you stick with the mana, probably fly even higher with that levitation. Just so I can see if the is uh, regenerate it to food or not. Take damage, that'll make me hungry. Here we go. Oh, yeah, it does regenerate food. I don't know how much food there, but it does. Probably the same as a cookie. Yeah, that's everything in this mod pack. Yeah, 
Hope you guys all did do review. Like I said, I would highly recommend it. There's some really fun and cool spells in it. There's the, the art. Like I said, the arm. I wouldn't recommend the arm set unless you are like focusing in magic, but the arm set is pretty cool. And it's pretty cheap because you only like it's like power, it's like roll and uh, gold. So oh yeah, and the mana stuff. And you can enchant it to have unbreaking and mending and stuff like that, apparently, according to the book. But I'm just going to take the book's word for that. Yeah, hope you guys all did enjoy this video. I hope to see you guys in the next video. And bye bye.